Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we have the game Dragon Ball Z Kakarot running on the Apple Silicon Mac using a compatibility layer called Crossover with an additional modification using something called CX Patcher. And this patcher modifies Crossover using the latest versions of DXVK and Molten VK. And this allows the game to run because if you try to run this with straight Crossover, you just get a black screen with just some audio. However, this fix helps to skip a post-processing step and bypasses that black screen problem. So if you apply this fix, just make sure that you understand that Code Weavers, the makers of Crossover, will not provide support for using this patch. Modifying Crossover comes at your own risk. Don't bug Code Weavers about anything to do with this patch, as it's not something they're going to be able to help with. So in this video today, I'm going to show you the entire process of how to get this game running. This includes installing Crossover, installing Steam, and then using the CX patcher to get this game running as well as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest game tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and install Crossover for Mac. So make sure to click the link at the top of the description. If you make a purchase, then I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support the videos that I create. So once we've clicked the link in the description, we're going to get to the Code Weavers website. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and then we can go ahead and start a free trial of Crossover, which you can use for 14 days. If you do decide to purchase Crossover later, what you can do is to follow the link again in the description. And once you press the Buy Now button, you can enter the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki new and then press the arrow button here and then what you'll find is that you'll get a 20% discount off Crossover Plus which is the version that I recommend. If you click my link and make a purchase then you'll be helping to support this channel and the videos that I create. However today we're going to be showing you the free trial so all you need to do is to press the try now button here and then we need to scroll down just enter your name and email address and then press the download trial now button. So Crossover Mac is now downloading and then we're gonna go into our finder window here and then go to our downloads folder and then find the Crossover zip file that we just downloaded. Then we're gonna double click to extract and then this is going to unarchive the zip folder. Now I'm going to drag and drop the Crossover icon here and put it in applications folder in order to install it. So within applications, what I'm gonna do now is to scroll down and then find Crossover and then double click. It says here that Crossover has been downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Press open. So because the version I'm using as a trial, we can press the try now button, or if you did make a purchase with my link, then you can press unlock with purchase info here. However, here we're going to press try now. So now that crossover is installed, what we're going to do is to install Steam. So click on this icon here, or you can type in the word Steam and you can click on this logo that comes up. And then what we're going to do is to press the install button. And what it's going to do is to create a Windows 10 64 bit bottle called Steam, and it's going to do all of the configuration for you. If anything pops up like this, just press yes. Complete the XML parser setup accept the terms and conditions, press next, install, finish. Now it's gonna go through the Windows Steam setup. So I'm gonna click on next here. I'm gonna let this install within the Steam bottle and then click run Steam. It's gonna download the Windows version of Steam here. Here it's extracting. And now that's done, the Steam login window has opened up so you can sign in with your account name or you can scan the QR code which is loaded up using the Steam mobile app. So we've now logged it into the Windows version of Steam. And because this is the Windows version of Steam, any game that you download will be a Windows PC version of the game and and it's going to run through the crossover compatibility layer. So what we're going to do now is to quit out of Steam and we're going to apply the CX patcher. I'm going to open up crossover again and we're going to enable DXVK. So this is going to allow DirectX 10 and 11 games to run using this backend. Some games will benefit as well from using eSync. Just depends on the, it just depends on the specific game. I'm going to leave this off for now. And what we're going to do is to go to crossover and then quit crossover entirely. So that's shut down completely. Then we're going to go to finder and then go into our applications folder. We're going to double click on the crossover patcher. And the next thing that we need to do is to go to the CX patcher GitHub page, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Then what we're going to do is to go to the releases section here, and then we're going to find the latest release. And then under assets here, we're going to download the patcher.app.zip. And that's going to go into our downloads folder. Then we'll open up finder, go to downloads, and then double click on crossover patcher. And then we're going to drag and drop this into the applications folder. Within applications, we're going to scroll down until we find the crossover patcher, double click. And if you have this error message, then just hold down the control key and then click on the application and then press open. And then we have this button here to open manually. Just be aware that code weavers have got nothing to do with this patch. If you do patch crossover, then this is at your own risk. Custom DXVK and Molten VK versions are not supported for crossover Mac. Please don't contact them if you do make this patch. If you do need support, then check out the Apple Gaming Wiki 
Discord where the developers tend to hang out. So here we're going to agree and proceed. And what we need to do here is to click on crossover in the applications folder, drag and drop this onto the patcher. And it says here, your app is updated. So now crossover is up to date. Close this now and double click on crossover to reopen it. And then we're going to double click on Steam and then load it up again. So now that we have the CX patcher patched, then there are a bunch of games that we can try, which are going to be improved by the patcher. So now within Steam, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do a search for Dragon Ball Kakarot. And then we're going to go ahead, click on this, and we're going to scroll down and then find the game itself, add to cart, and then make a purchase. So purchase for myself, then click purchase. So once the purchase has gone through, we can install content here. Just go to your library and then type in the word Dragon Ball, and then we're going to download and install Dragon Ball Kakarot here. This is a 42 gigabyte file. Just press next, I agree. And it's going to go ahead and download and install this game. Just wait for this to complete before we move on to the next step. So once Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is installed, we're going to press the play button and it's going to go ahead and launch. It's going to install the Microsoft VC redistributable and then it's going to sync Steam Cloud and then it's going to start running now. I'm just going to accept the terms and conditions and uh, I actually have a controller paired here. So this is all working. I'm going to press start. I'm going to accept. Just accept all of this. Confirm. Let's go through all this menu stuff. So I have my controller paired here, my DualSense controller paired by macOS. And then this is all working on the actual game itself. So let's go to options and we'll just check the graphics settings here. So we're running at 1080p with all of the settings set to high. And then we're just going to play a game. So as you can see, the game actually runs pretty well on the Apple Silicon Mac. There are a few stutters here and there, and this is due to shader compilation stutter, which is pretty normal for this type of game running through compatibility layers. Nevertheless, the game feels very responsive and pretty much very playable. I didn't encounter any serious graphical issues or performance problems, especially in the first kind of two opening sections of this game. And as far as I can tell from other users, this seems to be working fine using Crossover and CX Patcher. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel. There are lots of other Windows games that work great using Crossover and CX Patcher. Please check them out on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.